on the car that Ricky Rudd chose for today's event. They went way back to 97. They picked the car he won the Brickyard 400 with, also won at Dover with this same race car. Oh, Dave Marcus in trouble in turn two. Oh, 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 damage to the front of the race car. Back and front. Marcus hitting a ton. You see him moving there. Took down the window net, which signals he's okay. Doesn't matter, rookie or veteran alike. Turn two's gonna grab him. It's happened to the very best over the years. And Dave Marcus brings out the fourth caution flag of the day here in the Pocono 500. Rick Mass does stay ahead of the race leaders, so he's going to get that lap back. Well, the reason they let him go back by, he pulled over and let the lead cars go just about two laps before that. He said, okay, you want to play that well? We'll let you make that lap back. Let's take a look at uh, what we can see here. It's going to be a vicious hit. Ah, he and Brett were together. Oh, oh man. Oh, man, oh, man. Holy Gee, cow. Impressive. Wow. He almost got that thing upside down. You don't think they carry some speed around this flat racetrack? Oh. I tell you what, that screen right there on that window saved his life just then. I saw his head trying to get out of that race car, and it was over against the wall when I was watching his head right against the wall there. That screen really saved him. It's about as hard as you can hit We've seen two vicious licks today. Rusty Wallace's deal in turn one at 200 miles an hour head on as he described it. And that job, Dave Marcus. We're back in just a moment. TNN Motorsports live coverage of the Pocono 500 is being brought to you by the Home Depot, the official home improvement warehouse of NASCAR. And by Eagle One. Are you ready for the attention? There is Mark Martin here at Pocono International Raceway as he finds himself, along with all the other leaders, having made pit stops under caution at lap number 92. The reason we're under caution is for the cleanup from Dave Marcus's savage hit in the wall at turn number two. We saw Dave moving around, taking down that window. And watch this lick again. This is where it begins to happen. I don't know if he and Brett Bodine touched or not. Tough to tell. Eli, I want you to watch something. Watch the safety net there. Watch his head when he hits the wall here. Go right now. Look oh, yeah, at it look right at there. Can you see it? It popped right out against that net. Boy, it saved his life, I can tell you that. Yeah, look again there. You see the white of the helmet being restrained by that safety net. It was a vicious hit. Because that second post on the driver's side, the B pillar, right there, yep. that is a weapon. And his head got in that net and it popped him back into the car. Thank goodness. And there, Dave is being helped from the race car. And that's the best thing to see right there. Tough cookie, Dave Marcus. Mm -hmm. 58 years old, he walks away from a crash like that. Got a boy, Dave. Yeah. Uh, a little shaky, and you can understand why. He's going to be sore tomorrow when he gets home to Avies Creek, North Carolina. But he is fine as work on pit road continues under caution. 